our universe has been expanding for approximately 13.7 billion years. The universe is made up of roughly 68% dark energy, 27% dark matter, and 5% normal matter. The gravity from dark matter tries to pull the universe together. However, dark energy, the theoretical force that is counteracting the forces of gravity, is allowing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. But if the universe has been expanding for such a long time, how big is the universe? So this is Earth, approximately 12,700 kilometers in diameter, with a population of around 7.1 billion people. But big whoop! This is Saturn, 120,000 kilometers in diameter, and can fit 750 Earths inside it. But still, that's nothing. The sun is 1.4 million kilometers across and about 1 million Earths could fit inside it. Let's go even bigger. This is Arcturus, 36 million kilometers across, 16 times larger in volume than our sun. Then there's this monster, the largest known star, V.Y. Canis Majoris, 3 billion kilometers in diameter. But let's go even bigger. This is the Cat's Eye Nebula, a cloud of gas and dust spanning 2.5 trillion kilometers in diameter. This nebula is one of the most complex nebulae known. Did you know the Cat's Eye Nebula is 8,000 degrees Celsius? But that's nothing. We have the Beast, the Eagle Nebula, measuring a whopping 70 light years across. The Pillars of Creation, which was most likely destroyed over 6,000 years ago by a supernova, was located inside the Eagle Nebula. Can you believe that all of that is located inside the Milky Way? A galaxy that is 120,000 light years across? But even the Milky Way is a puny little run when compared to the IC 1101, the largest known galaxy standing at 6 million light years in diameter. IC1101 is able to grow this big because it, believe it or not, literally eats other galaxies. But let's finally answer the question that I'm sure you've all been waiting for. How big is the universe? Well, the observable universe is 93 billion light years across and consists of everything that can be observed from Earth. The whole universe, well, no one really knows. It might be infinite, but for this video, Let's say the universe is really, really big. And here we are living on this tiny, insignificant pebble of a planet trying to find out why we are here and what our purpose in life is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, once again for tuning in to Curiosity 180. We hope you liked today's episode, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let us know maybe some topics you'd like to hear about in future videos. But for now, you know, if you're willing to uh, spare a little more time, why don't you go check out the first two episodes?